let me just paste it hit enter and it should get it installed so it is apparently installed but why is it not running the windows parses shell by default is pretty boring and we all love the customizability of linux terminals even if it's bash but this come on microsoft it ain't it so if you're new to the channel subscribe leave a like on the video and let's get right into it first up let me show you what the heck i'm talking about if i go to uh open up a chrome browser here's our browser and if we search for oh my posh yep we go into oh my posh and this is basically a theme engine or a prompt theme engine it says for any shell but it's mostly for powershell and it's great so if i just let's get started and it just gives us like pulls up in the customization thing but here's the thing about this video it's not a tutorial and i have actually not used it uh, if you've seen in a previous video that my prompt is customized that's mostly because i was using uh, Chris, Titus, Chris Titus text uh, prompt but i personally didn't ever try it out so this video we are trying it out we're seeing how to get this to work so first i went to the installation in the windows section and it says it needs Winget and as far as I remember Winget is fairly recent you do need Windows 11 for this but it can be downloaded from the Microsoft Store so since we can get it also there are other methods we have manual whoa this is great uh, and then we have chocolatey but I'll go with Winget since I am using I think I'm using the latest version of Windows so let me just paste it hit enter and it should get it installed and there you go now found an exit already installed and upgrade the install package no valid at so it is is apparently installed but why is it not running so let us see if i do do oh my posh oh okay now uh, oh my posh enables so if i just to enable oh okay so there is an init command so we can initialize it so if i just to init mm, okay so what is it saying initialize the shell company see the condition the initialize the shell oh my that is sage in it okay so if i do power shell mm, no call oh my power in a default ps1 so what did this do okay let me let me get into the guide i don't know what the heck i'm doing so i did this this installs a couple of things oh my posh exe and themes okay so uh, what is this uh for the path to be reloaded i restart your terminal is advised if oh my posh is not recognized the command you can run the installer again or add it to manually for so it is recognized in our system which is great so first it says install a font okay with font uh, this is nerd font so i'll go to this website okay download and in case any of you are wondering why the heck does my uh, all my websites have this comic sans that's because of dark reader apparently it has a feature where you can actually change the fonts so i just have it at comic comic sans so why not mm, so it says proto not for edon mono mm, i'll just get this one i don't know why but sure uh, maybe i'll get this as well i do like it uh what else is there uh this one that looks great okay i don't need this money i just yeah just hold up so let me just quickly install them okay give me a moment while i get all of them installed okay i do have a like a item one installed so i'll stop it there yeah uh okay so i have this installed uh installation oh my posh has a cli help you oh bruh i should have just did wait can i just i'll type it again get out control v on my posh font install ah select font okay i did download this so i can just click this oh it just installs you know what this looks amazing so that's great so it did install this font so that's great now what the is there there's a font on, uh, okay windows terminal make sure to configure windows and they use the font you have installed okay so apparently we have to configure this to install this basically what's it not trying to default shortcut windows shift comma okay so windows shift windows shift comma what did that do windows shift comma no shift comma no shift comma nope it does not work uh you'll need to confirm windows terminal to use it okay so if i do windows uh terminal i mean uh here you go we have settings ah okay there you go i can right click it and it will open the settings that's great now what the heck am i looking for in here i just have to change the font right so if i go to appearance dark um okay let's see default profile partial sure oh this one is great but if i do this and then open up a new one ah it just opens up the newer partial that's great i'll keep it at that um mm, where is the font interactions uh it should be okay profile 
profile this one mm, command line icon and, okay appearance okay there you go we have font in here and okay i want to select this font let's just say i want this one okay that's something uh or how about this one this looks a bit nicer you know what i'll i'll go full nerd mode why not yep we'll see where this takes us uh there's a color scheme option uh why does uh this ah, it's pretty nice i'll give it that so if i do save and then okay it just immediately updates that's great uh, so i have updated it now what's next uh prompt okay this is the one change your prompt uh get shell so i'll copy this control v what is this so it will just get the shell i assume okay pwsh which is i think says powershell and it is doing powershell so notepad edit your powershell profile script you can find this location under profile variable in your powershell okay so apparently i have to edit it so if i do this uh instead of notepad can i just use code uh can i just make this bigger there you go now it's easier to see i think it should open it uh yeah there you go partial profile mm, sure install it why not now what the heck am i supposed to do here can i just put it here and then this one right here and i think i would like to put this under here now there you go we have everything set up now i should i could have just seen it here but nope now what am i doing here now uh, the uh, when it's above command gives a error make sure to get a profile so it tells me that we can create a profile in case we don't have it i don't want to add the last at the partial profile okay okay so this needs to be the last line so i'll just put it here first so now we have that mm, added a profile okay customize now we have to customize uh, let's see okay that's configuration you need to change the config option and it's a line in the partial okay so now we have like themes and stuff or a custom so let me go to themes as uh, a path to local configuration or url pointing to a remote config hmm uh, was in it line in your dash file by adding okay so we can either add this or this okay if i go to theme oh this is great there is a multiple options here and we can pick uh, ones that we like hmm i do like my like arc system that i use which has like a two liner instead of having a single line so i would like really appreciate if i do have something that has a double line but if i don't find something that i like like that mm, then i'll probably just what whoa what is this? you know what i like this i'm gonna try this clean detailed okay if i open this oh, okay so this is the whole json and i think i can just copy this right and uh, i'll just copy the whole thing and then if i just paste it here hopefully this works i don't know if it will work mm, now where was i uh customize okay i was here mm, okay so i can do dash dash config and then so it should look something like this okay that's so i'll go at the end of this file and then just type you know what i'll make this bigger as well. first do ctrl b and then let's make this larger so i'll put the colon in here and then one up here and then what we have to do is oh my, my posh posh in it uh pwsh sh and then dash dash config so there you go that should just pull it right once already your, your profile for the changes to take effect okay so i can do this Hmm, it just worked that's great actually oh is that autocomplete wait, wait, wait if i do wait clear work you know what this is great i like really get it messed up because uh, windows uses cls right and linux uses clear so it's kind of get it gets confusing but this is not what i hoped for that is the thing okay now i know how to get themes let's just get in here again uh, i thought it would be more on the lines of where is it um like a dual liner you know like this one this this is the one so i want i hoped it would be kind of like that but i don't think it is so let's see what else is in here oh wait oh my gosh can i just make it do a line you know just download okay there is one here oh, you know what let's see how this looks if i just oh my god Control c and then if i put it in here now if i do it again uh default uh, uh http i think it is an https right no okay that's not it 
um follow link now oh, it does open it so why the heck are you not working mm, that is actually weird because this works sorry the other one works but that one doesn't that's kind of weird you know mm, why does it not work uh, alignment left new line true uh, does it depend on no um i think these are just variants of the same thing right hmm it does look good like don't get me wrong it doesn't look bad it looks great but i just hope for it to be like this you know like a double liner wait i think this like it gets like that when i'm in like a git directory or something yeah there is a lot of complex one in here you know what i'll keep it at this this looks pretty nice oh they have flames on this oh i think this is for wsl maybe here's a kali one which is great you know what i i'm great that this it has a lot of themes and uh, this is basically how we do it uh let's see if i can make a local one so if i just uh i don't know let me make open up my file let me just put it somewhere let me just say i put it in documents like right here for now i'll just, just to show you guys now uh, new do i do no not text document nope i just don't want it i want to open a code window here now uh, open in code i don't have it in here um if i do okay why does it did code that, that there we go now if i just do a new file which will be mm. alter this again uh this one like omp.json so if i just a uh, new file do this and then yeah i'll rename it later but mm, i'll put it in documents so create file there you go it created a json file and then if i just let's say i will copy the whole thing copy it if i paste it in here then i just have to copy the directory right so if i just copy this or not this copy copy as path and then mm, can i just okay yeah i can comment it out so again i can do oh my posh uh in it pwsw oh, sorry sh that's dash config and hopefully this works okay i have to yeah, so i can do one uh let's see if this works where is it mm, okay so that does not work but if i just copy this hmm okay i think uh if i just close this and then open the terminal okay hmm. i mean why does this not work hmm. if i just type this command like outright does that work so see let me see if i paste it no hmm. that's weird actually why wouldn't it let me change the theme hmm. let me see um if i have to know something so a command gives an error oh okay new item path profile file force oh this just um makes the whole file again now if i do this and then um no no nope. it's not working example use the theme or other thing i mean okay okay there's too many things ah that works wait does this just install it wait a minute did it just install this theme and if i just had to write it oh yeah this makes sense this is the one that i was looking for hmm this is weird okay so basically if i want if i go through the how do we put this like the local method like like this which is from the github if i pull it it's like something but if i pull it like this that's something and can i assume that if i do this it will just reset it no it does not reset it that's weird yeah that's actually weird so let me see if i go to customize again if i go to themes and let's say mm, what do i want to run okay let's say i want to run kali for example yeah if i do just change this to kali does this just work yeah this works and if i just close out and get in it just works no okay so now i get it uh this is actually important so i'll just get that command ah uh, there you go and if i just do control c um how do i copy this oh i can select it so there you go Control c and then if i just do this and then just i think run the command right here so now if i do this and save it and okay so so now this is in the file so if i open up terminal does it just okay all right i just mistyped it but other than that yeah it just opens up that way it's great now that's what i'm looking for and uh which one should i go for hmm, let's see okay this is the one that looks the closest so if i just uh, i just copy this and then paste it in here and then if i just i don't know get another one yeah there you go and the best thing is the clear command works and it's pretty simple uh how about this easy term so if i do that 
Uh, if I just again just open a new one. Ah, it's pretty great to be honest. I like it. Uh, okay. So that's basically, I think, it for this. Is there anything else I should know? So let me just open this. Uh, let's upgrade. Okay. So how do I upgrade? Oh, no, I think I didn't finish it. So if I go to customize, is there anything I miss? Uh, custom co configuration. So maybe there's a theme we like, but don't fancy the colors. Maybe there's a segment you want to tweak. All right. Oh, so we can just output the theme. So you can export the current theme default set by. So we can export the current theme and just from there and customize it however it likes well since i'm just checking this out and it's pretty straightforward to set it up yourself like this so that's great so if you do want uh you know what uh, for now i will just show you what it is doing and in case i do make a custom config which i definitely will i'll just put it in a future video or something to just to show you guys what you are wanting or just put it in the discord server uh, if i do make a custom config so if i just do this what does this do wait it pasted it somewhere wait, wait if i do cd tilde where does it take me uh i don't think can i do ls bro ls actually works on windows nice so i think what this does is basically translates the linux command onto windows i assume so if i do dir i think it does the same thing yeah uh and also there you go uh my theme i think that's what i typed yeah my theme so you did a dot and we can customize it from there which is great and i think we can just literally just do code and it will open it up in code open hmm it just it's a clear theme there's nothing in here uh so why does why did that happen uh also config hmm. i don't know the preview changes is the following commands to configure the one so what is this uh, okay so this says shows us the changes that you probably made i guess you want to render all segments regardless of the current window okay so there is a lot more to this so if you guys are interested in me making a, a config out of this or which i will definitely do when i do do that uh, make sure to subscribe to check it out and leave a like on the video and i'll obviously put it in the video descriptions or in the discord server and you know what i will probably put most of the things that i make on the discord server from now so it just stays organized so thank you guys for sticking around this long into the video i'll see you guys in the next one bye